In this video, we're going to be working on the second move of the 13th line of the Ong style Tai Chi Saber form. As always, I'm going to begin as if I had started the form facing you. So our last movement had us facing off to the northwest. If I'm facing you, we're going to call that south. So directly toward you is south, behind me is north, to my right is west. So back here would be the northwest, and that's where our last movement had us facing. From our last movement, we're going to shift to the right foot, and we're going to start to turn the blade so that the sharp side is facing up and the dull side is facing down. As we turn, we're going to pass the sword off to the left hand, setting the dull side and the crease of the elbow, gripping the handle with the left hand. So from our last move, rock back. As you start to pivot on the heel of the left foot, turn to the right. So you're turning your body so that it's facing east. From here, shift to the left foot, stepping back with the right foot, pulling the right hand into the side. From here, you're going to punch forward with the right, settling into a false step with the left leg forward. One more time from our last movement, shift to the right foot, turn, pass the sword to the left hand. Shift to the left foot, step straight back with the right foot, shifting into the right foot. Right hand comes back to the hip, palm up. From here, step out with the left foot, gently touching with the toe, and at the same time, punch forward with the right hand. Crossing the arms in front, just like we did at the beginning of the form. Now I'm going to demonstrate this movement as if I had started the form facing this way. So this is my south, this is my west, that's my north. Last movement had me facing to the northwest. So I was here. From here, I rock back, turn, so I just pass that sword, sharp side up, dull side in the crease, hand it to the left hand. Shift to the left foot, step straight back with the right, pulling the right hand in at the hip, and then punch forward as you settle into that false step. Once again, rock back, turn, pass the sword to the left hand, shift to the left foot, step back with the right. From here, punch forward, settling into that false step. Now I'll demonstrate as if I'd started the form facing away from you. So this is my south, west, and north is directly behind me. Last movement of the form had me facing northwest. From here, I'm going to turn so that I'm facing east. When I finish this move, I need to be facing east. So from here, I rock back, pivot on the left foot, handing the sword to the left hand. Shift to the left foot, step back with the right. Now I'm facing east, and from here I step out and punch out, and I'm turned toward the east again. Again from here, shift to the right foot, pass the sword off to the left hand. Shift to the left foot, step back with the right. Step forward with the left, keeping the root in the right leg, gently touching the floor with the left foot, punching out with the right hand. Now I'll demonstrate as if I had started the form facing this way. So again, south, north, directly away from you is west. The last movement of the form had me facing to the northwest. Here. From here I'm going to rock back, turn, hand the sword off to the left hand. So I turn the dull side down toward my arm, set it in the crease of the elbow, reach up, and grab the handle with the left hand. As I'm doing that, I shift to the left foot, and I'm going to step back with the right, pulling the right hand in next to my hip, palm up. From here, I set my toe down forward with my left foot, and at the same time, I punch out. One more time from the last movement of the form that we worked on. Rock back, pivot on the heel of the left foot, pass the sword to the left hand. Shift back with the right, pulling the right hand in next to the right hip, palm up, as a fist. Now I'm going to punch out, and at the same time, I step out with the left foot. So as you can see, this isn't really a new movement, because we've done this before at the beginning of the form. The footwork's a little bit different, but the structure and the movement should feel very familiar to you. One of the most important things to remember about this movement is when you're handing the sword off, make sure you turn the sharp side up because it's possible to leave the sharp side down and reach across and grab, and that's going to be all bad for you. So make sure that you turn it so the dull side is down, so that when you set it in the crease of the elbow, you're setting the dull side against your arm, and then you can grab the handle with your left hand. 
That's all that there is to the second movement of the 13th line of the Yang style Tai Chi saber form. As always, I hope you found this video very helpful. Thank you so much for watching.